there, it's Ashley here with this week's episode of Stamp Create Repeat for your next stamp. I have a fun little card to share with you today. I'm in love with this new little panel die and I am also in love with the little anchor die. And I just had to have this little parrot with a little piece of twine holding on to that little anchor and kind of dropping it into the sea. So I'll share with you guys just to start the products that I use to make my card and then I'll get into the process video and I will link it all in the description box so you can find it over in the Your Next Stamp store. So first up I use the Your Next Stamp Black Olive Ink and also the wire trimmers. I use two different sets of gumdrops. I use the new set that just came out. I love these blue ones. I use the tiny ones here and this was the Seize the Day Sparkly Gumdrops. I also use the little green ones and the medium size from the Merry and Bright Glittered Gumdrops. And then I just pulled in some Doodlebug twine. I used this darker blue there to attach to the anchor. I used the new Seize the Day paper pad. It's so perfect for summer and I love all the navies and dark blues. So I used that for the water. I used this Heidi Swap Marquee Love paper for the glittery anchor and also the glittery background. And then for the stamp set, I used this Yo Ho Ho set. It is so adorable. I used the little parrot that's on there and the Ahoy Matey sentiment. And then I also used the coordinating dies to trim out the little parrot there. For the dies, I used this die because I really wanted to use that cute little anchor. This is the porthole and anchor die set and it has a larger porthole. And then I also used this die set and this one comes with a smaller porthole and then the panel die. So this one is the wave panel die and then I did use the little porthole there to put around that cute little parrot. He's kind of peeking out of it and I've got some gumdrops on it. So let's get started and I'll share with you how I made my card. So to begin with, I'm just taking this cute little anchor. I love this anchor so much. It totally makes me think of summer. So I'm just running that through on some glittery paper. And I love how the anchor has a little hole in it. So you can add some twine and you could get really creative using that in all sorts of ways on your cards or on tags. And now I'm just gonna do the little porthole that comes with the wave panel die. And I'm doing that on the glittery silver paper as well. Now taking some white cardstock, I'm just going to trim out with the die cutting machine, the wave panel die. And it gives such a nice background. I'm going to just start now by stamping out this little stamped image of the little pirate parrot. He's so cute. And I'm going to trim him out with the coordinating die. And I'm just using a piece of washi tape to make sure that it's on nice and centered. And then I'll run it through my die cutting machine. Now I'm going to color him up and I'm gonna use my Copic markers. I'm using Y38 for his feet and also his beak. And then I'm going in with Y35 and Y32. And then I just go in with my colorless blender a little bit. For the top part here, I'm using YG06. And this is a really nice, bright, summery green color combo. And I'm also using Y0, YG03 and YG00. And then I go back in with the YG06 just to give it some nice dimension. And then again with the YG03. And then I do the same with the beak. I go in with the darkest color and second darkest color again. Then for the bottom part of the body, I'm using G05 and YG13. And his little arm is so perfect to wrap around some twine for the anchor. I was just so excited when I saw how his arm was up like that because it just looked perfect for adding on the little twine. So I have all of my pieces here. I'm just taking an A2 sized card base that I have in blue and then I'm adding on some glittery silver paper to the top of it. And I'm just taking this wavy paper here and just trimming down that panel on top of it so that it is perfect there for the background. So I'm gonna take my ATG gun and adhere that on. And I don't know why I was having trouble with my ATG gun. I must have installed the tape for this one incorrectly because I do struggle with it a bit in the video. And now I'm just taking a glue stick. I purchased these just from the dollar store. Any type of glue stick would be perfect for just adding on some adhesive to the back of this panel. And then I adhere it on, but I actually end up lifting it up and flipping it around because I wanted to have the larger part where the bird's gonna be and have his right arm with the little anchor coming down from it. So I just flip it around and then I'm going to take the little panel. These were the pieces that came out when I die cut it and I'm just adhering that down. And this is perfect because it gives a point where I can put a sentiment. And then I'm gonna take the twine and I decided to go with the darker blue twine 
looking back at the card, I think it would have been really cute with, with some red twine, but I didn't have any red, but I think that would be really cute as well. So I just added some adhesive to the back of that stamped image, and then I just wrapped around the twine, and then I just tied it onto the little anchor there. And then I just kind of have it flopping into the water. It looks so cute. And you can wrap it as much or as little around the little parrot as you want. And then I'm going to take this little porthole and add some glue to it as well. And then I'm going to have the little bird kind of popping out of it. And then I just added a little bit of adhesive to the back of the parrot there. And then I also added some glue onto the back of the anchor and then I can just put it into the water there. Then I decided that to add on a sentiment, so I went with the Ahoy Matey. I thought that was cute, and I just used the black olive ink for that. And now I'm going to take some of my gumdrops. These are the Seize the Day Sparkly Gumdrops, and I took the tiniest ones in the dark blue color, and I'm just adding them on the little porthole circles. I thought that looked so cute, and it really just makes that little parrot part pop. And then I'm just showing you how I store my gumdrops here. I'm using this set here and it has some greens and so I'm using the medium and small size just to add those on. I love to put my Your Next Stamp gumdrops on a ring and then you can kind of like flip through them. I know I've shown that in another video. So that was my card. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will link everything in the description box for you below. I would love if you subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.